subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. How many shoes are there in the picture? How many eggs are there in the picture? How many coins are there in the picture? Two items of the same type can also be called a pair. Twelve items of the same type can also be called a dozen. 144 items of the same type can also be called a gross. Pair, dozen and gross are examples of units that we use in measuring the amount of items in our daily lives. Let's say there is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 of sand particles. How do you represent this number? The value of 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 is called the Avogadro constant or the Avogadro's number. The name Avogadro is in honor of a famous Italian scientist, Amedio Avogadro, who lived from 1776 to 1856. The symbol of the Avogadro's number is Na. When do we use this number? Chemists use the Avogadro's number to define a term called mole. So, what is mole? Chemists use the unit mole to measure the amount of substances. How much is one mole? Scientists have determined experimentally that there is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms present in 12 grams of carbon-12. A mole is the amount of substance that contains as many particles as the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. Therefore, a mole is the amount of a substance that contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, that is the Avogadro's number of particles. They can be 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, molecules or ions. A mole is equivalent to a specific number, that is, Avogadro's number of items. Just as a pair of shoes is equivalent to two shoes, a dozen of eggs is equivalent to 12 eggs, and a gross of coins is equivalent to 144 coins. Thus, one mole of sugar equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 sugar molecules. One mole of salt equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 salt molecules. One mole of copper equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 copper atoms. One mole of diamond atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 carbon. One mole of bromine gas is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. One mole of water molecules is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. One mole of sodium chloride is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 sodium ions. 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 chloride ions. We can convert the number of moles of any substance to the number of particles of that substance. Multiplying the number of moles of a substance with the Avogadro constant gives us the number of particles in the substance. We can also convert the number of particles to the number of moles of that substance. Dividing the number of particles of a substance with the Avogadro constant gives us the number of moles of the substance. Let us look at the relationship between number of moles and number of particles. Click on copper. 
1 mole of copper contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 copper atoms. To see the number of molecules and atoms for chlorine gas, click on chlorine. Hence, the number of chlorine atom is twice that of the number of chlorine molecules. Let us look at the number of molecules and atoms for carbon dioxide. Click on carbon dioxide. The number of atoms for carbon dioxide is three times that of the number of carbon dioxide molecules. Click on the blinking button to proceed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.